We recently received this question from John. What do you do if your disc pops up in the air, flips over and lands perfectly on top of another disc? Well, the first thing you do is you pull out your phone, snap a picture and post it online because really, if you don't post it to social media, did it even really happen? Now, as far as the rule goes, let's take a look. My name is Jeremy Tracy of Tracy Crokinole Boards. If you find this video helpful and enjoyable, go ahead and flick that subscribe button like you're going for a follow through 20. Like, comment and share. It all helps to spread the word about the greatest game on earth. So you have one Crokinole button that is piggybacking another Crokinole button on the board. Now we're going to look at a few scenarios and my opinion on how they should be handled from a rules perspective. And I say opinion because the NCA rule book leaves a little bit of grayness there's some room for interpretation here and I have heard many a debate on how these should be handled so I'm going to share my opinion and then invite you to share yours in the comment section below the first scenario we will look at the round is still going and you've got one button piggybacking another Doug, Doug. can I get a drop oh uh, the rule says play it as it lies so let's say you're shooting pink and out on the board in front of you, out on the table, you see that there is a red button sitting on top of your pink one. Aren't you gonna buy me dinner first? Play will continue. You still need to make a valid shot. If there are other red ones on the board, you can go ahead and hit any of those you want. You still need to make contact with a red. I'm going to explain this because I know somebody's going to ask. You cannot just shoot for the center and say, oh no, well a pink one's already touching a red one. It needs to be a button that was in Involved in the shot but what you can do is you can intentionally shoot and hit your pink button that is being piggybacked by the red one and you will automatically have accomplished a valid shot because your pink one is making contact with a red so play just continues scenario number two would be when the round has ended and you have buttons piggybacking each other on the board what I would say is they count for whatever point region they're sitting in. They still count because they're in play. They're not out of play yet. Now let's say they're both sitting in the 10 like so. Obviously they both count as 10 points and they cancel each other out. But what if one is sitting in the 10 and the one that's piggybacking on top is actually hanging over the line? So the way I would recommend that you treat this is that you pretend that the bottom button doesn't exist. So if we were to pull this out, the red one would be touching this line and therefore worth five points. Scenario number three, and this is where things really get heated. It's when the piggyback action is happening dead center of the board in that ever important center hole worth 20 points. Now the first thing I wanna say is this may be scenario 3A, is if the bottom button isn't completely flat in the hole. If it's a leaner and there happens to be another one sitting on top of it like this, play continues because there isn't a 20 involved. But where things really get heated is if the bottom was is in the 20 hole and you've got a piggybacking button sitting on top of that. The ruling that I'm gonna suggest applies whether the round is done or the round is still in action. So even if this, whether this happens on the very last shot or just during regular play, you still need to remove that bottom disc. So here's the guideline that I'd suggest you go by. Once you remove that bottom disc and replace the top one as close as you can to where it started, is it going to fall in? If it's going to fall in, then it counts as a 20. This scenario here where they're almost perfectly placed on top of each other is absolutely a 20. Now, conversely, if it was just barely on top like so, then the red one is not going to count as a 20 because when we pull the pink out, put that back, it's nowhere near falling into that center hole. Now that's that's what I would suggest and I guarantee you there's going to be debate, there's still going to be disagreements and that's what I'm going to refer you back to last week's tip we talked about the Hutch Daddy principle where you just make the decision that makes sense for you and everyone around the table. As I said I know that my opinions are debatable, they're not hard and fast rules in the NCA rulebook so I really do invite you to share what are your opinions on this hot crokinole topic. What rules do you play by in your household? Let's hear it down below and in the meantime keep on flicking and make it a great day. All ever elusive coveted, I screwed that up, let's start it over again. <laughs> Rolling. And in the meantime, 
keep on flicking. <laughs> well, the first thing I'll say is that, um, yeah, greatest game on earth.